Hey friends, Rob Wood here doing a response or review to many of your friends out there. Charlie, the show entitled The YouTube Midlife Crisis Weekend. I wanted you to actually see somebody on YouTube that is in the midst of a midlife crisis. I'm probably older than 99% of you out there watching this video. My wife is actually in the midst of one also. She's a little older than me. At the end of the video in roughly several minutes, I will relinquish my age. And you know, my wife went from wanting to go on Mickey's Barnstormer in Disney World. Now she wants to jump out of airplanes and go parachuting. So this is what a midlife crisis will do to your friend. But, you know, it seems like Charlie is a perfectionist. And there's nothing wrong with that. God does not necessarily want us to be the best. He wants us to be the best we can be. And that's good that he wants to be the best that he can be. And, you know, he's selective. He's looking for quality and not quantity, which is good, my friends. But the image, the person we really have to have the most approval with or the most acceptance with is ourselves. And a lot of young people struggle with this, friends. They struggle with being part of the clique, the crowd, wanting to be the BMOC, the big man on campus. The Bible clip, someone just said the Bible. You, well, I am a minister, friends, of the gospel. If you want to go to my ministry channel via YouTube, subscribe where I talk about heaven, hell, angels, demons, the Bible, etc. You can do that. You can subscribe to my channel also. But I am a Christian minister. And it says in the Bible, in the book of Ephesians, that you are the accepted in the beloved. In other words, God loves you and approves of you unequivocally and unconditionally. In fact, you are his favorite. Out of almost 7 billion people on the earth, I got good news for you. God not only loves you, he loves you the most, and you're his favorite. And you've got to be convinced of that because when you're convinced of that, you stop looking for approval from other people. They don't give you the self-image. You give yourself your self-image because you're content, you're happy with yourself, and that's my response, my review to Charlie. By the way, I'm 46 years old, man. For, I'm almost 50. I'm getting old. Half a century, man. What's going on here? Hey, it's the inevitable, friends. Everyone's going to take their last breath one day. That's the good news. If you got Christ in your heart, when you do, the elevator goes up, which is life insurance. If you don't, without Jesus, the, the elevator goes down to the basement, which is a place of eternal separation from God. Jesus taught about a place called Hell, you don't want to go there. It's still hot, by the way. Hey, give me your comments if you think heaven's real, hell's are real. I'll take a poll right now. And friends, let me pray for you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm praying for everyone under the sound of my voice. I'm asking you to touch them with your love. You love them unconditionally. Your compassion's reaching out. Your grace, your mercy, your acceptance. If you never accepted Christ, friends, he comes by invitation only. Say this prayer with me. Say, Jesus. Thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Friends, get a Bible in today's English. If you have one, get the dust off it. Start to read it. Develop a prayer life. Get in a good Bible-based Christian preaching, teaching church. Again, I'm a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Friends, if you want to subscribe to my ministry channel, go for it. I've got well over 200 Christian ministry videos via YouTube. Hey, be blessed. This kid Charlie's a good kid. It's so enlightening and it, and it, for me, it, that it really it does my heart a delight to see a young person coming on YouTube, not getting involved in smut and nonsense and just debauchery and crap just to get views. A good, clean kid from England. Be blessed, friends, in Jesus' name. The Lord loves you. God bless you.